Alright, it's just after midnight. It's about 12.30. And uh, on uh, it's October 30th, 2012. And uh, <coughs> I'm going to test out this, uh, this helicopter here. I got a... Uh, it's a... Um, I believe it's AH-64 Apache helicopter. That's what's modeled after. That's what's based on. It's actually the SIMA, or SIMA as some people pronounce it, S-Y-M-A, and it's uh, the S-109 model, and it's a little infrared, three-channel, uh, little mini helicopter. Of course, the uh, the Boeing AH-64 Apache uh, Army helicopter. Now I'm going to attempt to take off and land a few times on this little footrest here. Get out the controller. And I'm also going to attempt to take off and land on this little table. I've never flown it in this apartment before, <coughs> but um. I've flown at my mom's house a couple times. <coughs> I've flown her uh, S107. But, uh, let's see how well this works out. take off on this little table and try to land on this uh, footstool. Crap! Lots of wires to get this thing snagged on. Let's try this again. It's got little wheels on there that don't turn, don't got skids, so you gotta worry about getting stuck in the carpet. Very responsive. Take off on couch. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's try it this way. Let's land on the little table.
Alright, about time. It's not what I wanted to do. Okay. It's a little more challenging <coughs> than my mom's place. Because it wires and all that. Make sure I don't hit the chandelier. <clears throat> I get the practice of it. Like I said, I've never flown it in my apartment before. Never even had one in here uh, before. But I plan on uh, plan on buying uh, maybe one or two Apaches. This one's borrowed. This one's actually my mom's. I might buy it off of her. But uh, I want to get a few others. I want to get Huey eventually. I want to get uh, uh, Blackhawk. Oh, yeah, I want to get uh, one of those, uh, they call it an airwolf, but it's based off of the uh, Bell uh, 222. I'd really like to get, well, it's not even out on the market yet, but they're showing it off on the website. Bell, I just looked at their website like 10 or 15 minutes ago and looked at their, um, their, five, their, their 525, what they call it, Relentless. I mean, it's like a luxury helicopter. I mean, it's like... It's... I mean, it's really nice. It's really nice looking. It holds 16 passengers plus two uh, pilots. Uh, got a whole bunch of luggage. I mean, it's for like... Oh, my gosh. It's pretty nice. I'd really like to have one. Uh, let's see. It's got a four-blade... <coughs> uh, on it, it is it it looks amazing. to do. Mm, try to rest on the carpet. This is not shag carpet so my way. Okay, it gets a little stuck on there. Oh, it works. about this one, unlike the S-107, is that it doesn't, this here, the Apache, this is the S-109, does not have uh, flashing lights, so you can actually fly it in rooms and see what you're doing, you know, at night. Okay. I don't know if the batteries are getting low or did I just not 
want to control it right. Well, the batteries are not low, it's got power. Went to the ceiling. Yeah, I just need to get the hang of this. Crap. You'd think for as much as I flung one of these, well, more than. Uh, Dylan, he was really good at it the first time he flew on these. He didn't fly this Apache, he flew the S-107, which is more of a generic helicopter design. got this helicopter like 5 or 6 p.m. Uh, on October 29th, which is just like seven hours ago. So I got white marks on there from where she hit the ceiling with it, and then I scraped the ceiling with it a little bit in her place. I almost hit the ceiling with it uh, just a minute ago. I need to make me a helipad. I need to get some more of that foam board. I got my mom some. Now I'll get me some. Land on the couch. Alright, now I can take off on the couch. Okay, that didn't exactly work. You want punk? Oh, crap. That didn't exactly work either. No, oh, there we go. We just got one how to Search and destroy mission. Search out B haters. <laughs> oh yeah. Fly out and get that camera. Feel the wind off of there, that's a lot of air. This one's every bit as good.
Yeah. Then you crash it, but I lost confidence. Alright, you gotta get a bunch of accelerator and go forward very shortly after. Say whenever you think it's gonna crash something, just let go of the throttle and let it do it. See if we can mess it up. Oh yeah, battery's getting low. That was like full throttle and it's like you don't have a lot of power. Well we used to almost just get like seven minutes of battery life in anyway. I don't know, we just got it. Yes, yeah, it's full throttle right now. The battery's getting low. It is fun to fly. Ooh, almost gonna hit my TV. Yeah, it's having, uh, yeah, the battery's getting low. It's having, um, oh, trim problems, which it never had when the battery was high. Yeah, it's rotating. I think that battery is low for now. Yeah. Leave I have my phone out of it. Show you the box to this thing. Here it is. Yes, 109 gyro system AH64 helicopter by Sima. Um, length is 220 millimeter long. Let's see, 200, 200 millimeter. Okay, 50 millimeters two inches. So 100 millimeters four inches. Uh, 200 millimeter would be eight inches. About eight and three quarter because 20 millimeters is just a little bit over three quarter. It's about eight and three quarter uh, inches long. Uh, height is 95 millimeters, just short of 4 inches tall. Width 70 millimeters, just short of uh, 3 inches wide. And uh, without the blades, of course. Uh, tuck these blades back. And um, this is a pretty nice little helicopter, you know. I think she paid like 25 for this or something like that. Usually, on average, the going price for these helicopters is uh, is <coughs> uh, thirty dollars. There's the battery there. Oh, that's easy to get to and replace. Um, and um, yeah, the going price for these, on average, is thirty. Some are cheaper. I like how the Apache. I like how it's well. If you look at its profile, it's kind of wide there on the base. It just looks awesome. The Cobra looks kind of ugly because it makes it look like the head of that alien. Like, remember that movie uh, Alien? Uh, had Sigourney Weaver and Michael Bean and some other people in there. Yeah, it just looks all creepy. Uh, not this one, but like the, 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 uh, the Cobra attack helicopter. Because it comes out straight and then it drops down with like alien's head. This one looks a little more... Right, and then it's kind of wide here at the base. 
And, um, but this is based on the uh, Boeing uh, Apache and the way the engines are and just really nice. And I saw a picture of like, you know, an Apache helicopter on like, um, I guess a training exercise and it kind of shown it from that angle and it was like looking down like that and it was just this iconic thing and of course helicopters remind me of fish anyway they just float around and go at will and they just hover and all that and kind of the fish shape there's the tail and there's the head and body and all that and uh yeah, they, uh, they got some neat stuff. Now, some of these uh, helicopters um, that you see on um, made by this company and I guess maybe some others, but particularly by this company. That's what maybe my, my mom look at. And because uh, my mom got me into remote control helicopters a couple weeks ago, in, like mid October. I don't know if it was early October, but it was around mid October of uh, this year, 2012. And they're just so fun. And, uh, so anyway, um, but, um, yeah, some of these, especially the Cobras, they have, um, they have little missiles on there that you can actually fire at stuff. Too bad they're not on the Apache. Well, maybe they might have some on the Apache. There's some Apache variants that have missiles that can fire, but mostly on the Cobras. Um, so you can chase around little animals, uh, and stuff like that, chase around my mom's dog and shoot it with missiles and stuff, and, uh, it'd be pretty beakish, actually, and, um, or chase people around, <laughs> but I'm sure the missiles don't do any damage or hurt anything, they probably only fire out, like, three feet or whatever, and they're just little plastic, I'm sure they're lightweight just to fit on this helicopter, and it's just some spring tension, it's just, for like playing little army men characters, and you like, pretend like you shoot rockets, and knocking down a couple of them, or whatever, and it's just a little cool factor, and, uh, and, uh, he <laughs> just fly out and pop somebody in the back of the head with these missiles and stuff, <laughs> Oh gosh, that'd be so cool. And, uh, but this is a nice little helicopter. I think I'll order one. Some of these things are as cheap as like 15 bucks. Just gotta read reviews and all that. I'm sure they're all pretty good. Um, and, um, this tail's kind of crooked. I'm sure it doesn't really matter since this actually controls a bunch of the stuff. Uh, yeah, they're kind of cheating on this because, like in a real helicopter, you can change the pitch of the blades and just like whatever. And um, then the main rotor is supposed to make it go forward and just tilt to the side and just have all these kind of functions. And then this rotor here is just to rotate it on its horizontal axis like that. Whereas, um, that's that's on a real helicopter. Now this one here, apparently they use a spin of whatever. They use this main rotor system to do it to to do the function of what would normally be a tail rotor, spin it like that, and of course elevate and all that. And then um, it's kind of backwards as to how it would be on a real helicopter. Because on a real helicopter, you know, tail rotors here, and then its amount of pitch and all that um, controls how it turns and like that. But they they do that with the main rotors on the, on these remote controls. And how you would use um, the main rotor to go forward or backward or whatever. Well, they actually use this for that because I've noticed. This doesn't function if you're just hovering, but if you go forward, then this will spin in one direction, and it will basically lift this end up and cause it to go forward, and then likewise, it'll spin the other way, and then it'll push air, and then it'll cause the helicopter to go down, and like that, so they kind of cheat the system, but like, anyway. Oh, this is already good. So, this is 
Oh crap, that sucks. Damn. Man, these rotor blades are already kind of chewed up. Like, they look like, man, they just, if blade damage, don't be fly, otherwise it will create human body, the, hu otherwise it will create the human body or blame damage. Apparently the Chinese don't understand English very well or whatever. It should say, if blade is damaged, do not fly, otherwise it will create harm or whatever, but like, oh my gosh, they, they just got it wrong. And for some reason it's got a vent hole in there, I guess it's to cool off whatever and um uh, anyway this stuff's pretty neat battery's probably almost dead I just charged it up I just finished charging it like just a couple minutes before I made this video and I got about two minutes left. So I I had finished charging it and then I waited about five minutes to make this video. Almost ten. So um yeah, now I'm gonna charge it up and I'm gonna put my Super Nintendo back up on here. Oh no, 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 I'll just put it on top of this um Okay, now my mom says that lights up, what, and that's what it's supposed to do. Now we're going to fuel the helicopter, yeah. And then, um, and you plug it into here, and then the light turns off. Now this power supply, of course, it's USB, and which is 5 volts, and it gives out 1 amp. And then it should take 40 minutes, and that light on the plug will, uh, will start glowing again whenever it's finished charging. And this is all for now, so uh... So uh, I want to make an... I'm definitely going to make more videos and need to fly these things more and learn more neat stuff, tricks and all that. And um... Yep, so uh... Enjoy!